Okay, so PO boxes are crazy. Yo, it's Stuart. Um, sorry, wrong intro. Uh, what was it? Hey, it's Stuart. So that's also good. Questions on my Instagram for a Q and A on my YouTube. You're on my YouTube, so you must be seeing that Q and A. Two ways. One, it is very flattering. I do it myself. I call people your highness, royalty. But then it can get very daunting when you realize people are putting you up on a pedestal and thinking you're better than them. We should all try and raise each other up, not put someone ahead of you. As a kid, I was never into what everyone else was into. I always liked to be by myself, and I, even now, like I've, I'm just different. Here's the biggest thing, though, that I learned. We all have our own people, you know. Everyone is freaking weird in their own way. No one should strive to be normal, be unique. <laughs> With great power comes great responsibility, Wilbo Baggins. I'm sorry, I just... I probably haven't seen this. Retag me, if you like. That is a mean question, because that changes so often. Um, I'm rereading, or trying to reread Crime and Punishment, so Rodion Raskonikov. Say that ten times fast. <laughs> if you haven't read Crime and Punishment, basically Rodion's whole character arc is the fact that he's trying to figure out what morality is and what is just. Literally, he has done such heinous acts that he is trying to figure out, you know, morally, is he right? Is he just in doing all of this? Where is the fine line between what is right, what is good, what is bad, and what we will allow ourselves to do? It's a really good book. It's hard to read, especially with all the Russian names. But Wow. It's dark and this is now weird and creepy. <laughs> Let's try that again. Well. Hey. How you doing? <laughs> I read the question wrong, I'm sorry. I thought it was like, who's my favorite literary character? My favorite character to act, um... It's, it's so basic. Basic white person actor right here. Um... To be or not to be, that is the question. Whether that is... Billy Clavin. The Cripple of Inish Man by Martin McDonough is my favorite play of all time. It's an Irish play, and Billy Clavin is probably my favorite character. Be seen out anything from Shakespeare, anything from Gogol, anything from Ibsen. And I got dropped from the play as Billy. Another character I really liked that I got to play was Sergius Saranoff from Bernard Shaw's um, Arms of the Man. And besides the whole hyper realism of the play, Marlon Brando played it as well. I'm Brando. Any of the stereotypes you know, don't do them. We're very open, we are very polite, and we are very friendly compared to other countries. Um, just be nice, be courteous, respect our culture. Don't freak out when you see a goat, or sheep, or cows. Don't say top of the morning, because we will probably hit you. If you don't want to be labeled to tour straight away, don't wear a rain poncho. Buy an umbrella, get a rain jacket. Don't wear a rain poncho. Please, please, please don't wear one. Ooh, the sun's coming out. We can go swimming soon. I like this. I like doing it in my car. We might make it a thing. Happy. And not dead. Well, actually, if I am dead, I hope I died in a really cool way. Like, saving an orphanage from a massive donut. Heck yeah! I'm not training my body just for... Well, I am training it for myself, but I'm training it for the movies! Can I be the next Spider-Man? This is actually a big thing. My DMs, I, I, I don't know what I'm doing right or wrong or whatever, but I'm try I appreciate all of you and I'm trying to answer you. I'm not being a dick. I, I am a dick, but I'm not trying. That's a hard one. I'm gonna go with Pippin though. Oh yeah, oh, corner of the sky. So like after getting a moderate following on social, trying to keep the connection, keep the conversation going is really hard. And sometimes it causes anxiety. I, I, I don't know about food, but I had a cannoli for the first time recently. I'd have that for dessert. I don't have one, but Marlon Brando. Richard Harris, Kenneth Branagh, Laurence Olivier, Timothy Chalamet. 
Do we live on the same planet? We are currently going through a deadly war through the pandemic, and there is currently a fungus that zombifies. You heard it right. Zombifies deer. So, like, comment, share, you know, do all that stuff. Tell me what you like, what you don't like. Let's try and improve this channel. Apparently, there's a fungus that zombifies deer. Literally puts them into a zombified state. Don't hate me. I've listened to the soundtrack. Haven't seen the musical. Lakes. Less chances of sharks. More chances of mermaid monsters. Fun fact, you will drown quicker in a lake than you would the sea. Be careful. If you want me to, I'll bring them back. I usually just have my main meal of the day um, straight after a workout, so that would be like my vegetables, um, wraps, chicken, because it's the best time for insulin retention in your body. The squab rack or dumbbells, you can do so much with dumbbells, you can do so much with just a bar. It's interesting when people say, you know, they need all this equipment in the gym. You don't. You don't. I think about how I squandered my life. Then I stab myself with the pen. Ooh, that's bright. <laughs> um, I ground myself. The emotion of the character. The big thing to know is never destroy your own mental health for a character. Method acting is great. Not at your own detriment. Just saying. <laughs> Sounds so good. I'm a scary movie buff. I love scary movies more than any other genre, I'd say. But um, one that always comes to mind is Urban Legend. That that freaked me out as a kid. But um, the scariest movie I've ever seen is a Mickey Mouse's Christmas Carol. Easily Nepal and India. Two top places on my list. Why is it so bright? Actually, do you know what? I'd literally just like to take all my money out, pack a bag, just go on a round trip. People asking for my pet peeves. Expectancy. We should never expect anyone for anything, if that makes sense. Someone just pulled up right beside me. The whole car park is empty. They pulled up right beside me. Why? That's, that's a pet peeve right there. A big thing is be prepared to take direction. They could easily watch you do your performance, do your monologue, and then say, Okay, now do it like this. You need to be open, you need to be fluid, you need to think of it as performance. I'm very socially anxious. I would probably run away from you. I've always wanted to be. I've always wanted to be one. Kind of. It's always been acting. I don't know why. So this has been the most productive Q&A I've ever had. And this is what we're working with. So that's about it. Um, like, comment, subscribe, do all that. Let me know what you liked, what you didn't like, and uh, we'll see if there's another one. There's a swan. If it comes near me, it's gonna punch in the face or I'm gonna be killed by a swan. Thank you.